Hello friends, in this video, we are going to understand the object snap or OSnap mode in AutoCAD. With the help of OSnap settings, the designer can specify precise locations like midpoints, endpoints of the lines, the center of the circle, arcs. Now let's see the working of OSnap. I want to make a line which is passing through the midpoint of this horizontal line or maybe endpoint of this horizontal line. So I'll take the line. I want to meet the midpoint over here. See, I'm unable to locate the midpoint of this horizontal line. Even the endpoint is also not visible to me. Even the midpoint of this vertical line is not visible. Even the center of this circle is not visible when I want to select the center point of the circle. So why these are not visible to me? Because my OSnap mode is currently off. Now how to enable your OSnap mode? Now see here on the downside, snap mode is off. Now open this, snap settings, go to the object snap here. I click on it and see, there is no point which is selected right now. Now see, I want to select all. Now I selected all, okay. Now take a line again. When I want to come to this way, see, this show me the end point. Now I want to go there. This is a midpoint. Now I want to make a line from this end point. I click over here. See, the line has been started right now. In the same way, I can select the center point as well. See this, this is the center of my circle. So when you are unable to see the center, midpoints, endpoints, tangents, so it means your O snap mode is disabled right now. Now again, I will make it disable. O snap and clear all. Okay. Now again, I take a line. I'll take a line near to this one. And when I take a line, when I take it zoom, see this. I'm unable to make a precise location of my endpoint. So whenever designers make any drafting, they always make it enabled. So this is the application of object snap. Okay, now again I go to there, snap settings, O snap or object snap. Even you can select a single single point, like I want to make only endpoint on, midpoint on, center on. Okay, maybe I want perpendicular, tangent. You can also select the single single point in this way. So whichever point you want to make visible, you can select over here. If you want to make a select all, you can just click on the select all. And all points have been selected. And just okay. Okay, so again I take a line. Now see this. If I want to make a line like this from the center, I select over here and I make a line. So this makes a precise drawing and helpful for the designers to make a better design. One another thing in the OSnap settings, we have a object snap tracking. So what is this? So let's see this my object snap tracking is off here and I just make it okay. I take a line and make a small rectangle like this. Now I want to make a rectangle. So rectangle opposite sides are equal and parallel. So if I want to make this equal distance line and I'm unable to make it like this way. So the reason being is my tracking, snap tracking is off right now. Now I just go to the snap settings again and object snap and make it on. Now see this, what is the difference right now? Again, take a line, come over here. Now see this, I just go through this point and come over here again. Now see this, it shows me the equal distance line right now. I just click over here and come to this point. Now my rectangle has been made. So this is the beauty of your snap tracking, okay? And one more thing that shortcut for enable or disable object snap is function key F3. So by pressing F3 on keyboard, you can disable or enable your O snap mode. 
so students i hope this osnap mode is clear to each and everyone if you still have any query you can comment in the comment section thank you students